SpeedyB have just released this new version 3 of their SpeedyB adapter. This incredibly useful little box means you don't need to take a laptop with you when you go out flying. You just need this and the SpeedyB app to change the settings in Betaflight, iNav and Emu Flight. And you can also use it to analyse your black box logs and even flash new firmware. I've been using the previous version of this since I reviewed it last year and it's totally invaluable when you're out in the field. And this new version has got some great new features. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Block channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. SpeedyB have kindly sent me two of these for review and I'm keeping this one. So I'll send the extra one to whoever leaves the best comment. Anyway, if you haven't seen these before, it's a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi dongle that allows you to use an app version of Betaflight iNav or Emu Flight Configurator on your phone. And this is incredibly useful because it means you don't need to lug a laptop out with you when you go out in the field to do your tuning and setup. Plus, you can download your black box logs and analyze them in the SpeedyB app directly. And as I showed in this video up here, the app has also got BL Heli 32 and BL Heli S built in support. So you can do all your ESC setup and changing motor direction is just dead easy. I reviewed this version two adapter last year and it's always in my flight bag without fail. Before I go over what's new in this version three, this only costs $36, which is around 26 pounds, which is fantastic value for money. And SpeedyB have made some nice improvements to this. There's a display on the front, which showed you the battery voltage. Just plug one of these in. You can use this on anything between 1S and 6S. There's a, an XT60 on the bottom here and a PH2 if you've got a 1S. So you just plug that guy in. And this is saying this is 25 volts, which is all very nice. And the V in is green. If we plug in something, let's, what else have I got here? Let's, that's 22.3. The V in is showing up in red. That means it's needs a bit of a charge and let's see there is another color on here which is white yeah that's in white that's sort of middle ground that's 23.7 and on the side here is a usb charge output and that means you can charge your phone or tablet and it supports all the fast charging protocols like qc3 afc apple 2.4a with overcurrent, short circuit, and over temperature protection built into here. Now, one thing they've done that's a significant improvement over the version two is this double header cable. The cable has got a micro USB on one end, let's just see, that end, and the USB three connector on the other. So it doesn't matter if your flight controller has got micro USB or USB-C, you just plug in whichever end you want. The previous one had this micro USB on both ends and I was always using an adapter when I had a flight controller that's got USB-C. And that's just something else to get lost in your flight bag. This simple change makes things so much easier. And you can see the case is now a hard injection molded case. This seems to be a plastic case, I think, with some yellow heat shrink over the top of it. So there's some mechanical improvements as well. As you can see on here, you've got micro USB and USB-C. So one lead covers everything. And this uses a Bluetooth connection on the app to do all your configurator changes and Wi-Fi to access your black box logs, firmware flashing and BL heli changes. So let's see how this works. So we'll just plug this battery in here. And I've got my AOS 5 here, which has got a flight controller with a USB-C on it. So plug that end in there. 
Let's see if I can get this so you can see everything. Now, although it seems a bit strange, maybe, that you need a battery, you're always going to have a LiPo with you when you're out flying. So this is flashing, which means we haven't connected. So let's get fired up on here. Don't worry, you see my password. There we go. Right. So if we fire up the app and you hit the Bluetooth symbol, it's detected this directly. No other setup to do, as long as you've got Bluetooth turned on on your phone. And there we go. We are in an app version of Betaflight Configurator, and it does the same with iNav and Emu Flight as well. So if we move this around, you can see it's doing all that. You've got all the usual things, all your port settings, general configuration, power and battery. Importantly, you've got all your PID settings on here. And if we go down to this section on motors, the nice thing about this, and I have done a video about this before, but they've updated the app to include BL Heli 32 support. So if you want to change the direction on your motors, you don't need to go into BL Heli, you just follow the links here. And swapping the motor direction is really simple. If you check out my linked video up here, you will see that. All very straightforward. So if we disconnect from this now, and we go up here, and let's have a look at the black box logs. And for this, it's going to use Wi-Fi. You don't have to go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. It just does it for you automatically. Just say connect. So we're turning on Wi-Fi transmission mode on here. A bit of glare on there. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so I've actually got one log on here. I don't know how big this is. Downloading. Okay, so that has downloaded. It takes a little while, but here you go. You can see all our black box logs in there with the stick move, stick uh, <clears throat> set points. And you can pick a whole load of settings on here. It is incredibly useful. So just take this out. You don't need to come back home or download your logs onto your laptop. You can just do it all in here. It's fantastic. So let's exit that. Now, one thing this does, which I found just so useful, I mean, it's very simple, but I don't know if you've ever noticed, but whenever you try and clear your black box logs when you're using Betaflight Configurator on your laptop, it just seems to take ages. Erase flash. Yes. It's done. It's almost instantaneous. It's fantastic. So if you're using PID Toolbox, for example, and you want to take a flight to do a, a black box session for each of your graphs and clear it out each time, that makes things so much easier. Now, unless you've used one of these, you'll be wondering why on earth you need one. But believe me, once you've used it, you'll never go back. I've been using this V2 version for a year and it's the single most useful piece of kit that I own. And these tweaks that they've made just makes things even easier. And it's really cheap. This only costs $36. And I'll leave links in the description so you can check out the latest prices. And remember, I've got a spare one. So whoever leaves the best comment, I'll be sending this out to. Fantastic. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.